Hello, it is the morning time, and I am tired. <laughs> oh fuck, I forgot to, I forgot to calibrate my VTube studio. Give me a second. There we go, perfect. All right, you didn't see anything. We're good, we're, we're great, we're fine. Hello, good morning. 
Mm. I spent like 15 minutes this morning. Like I was like, it was 15 minutes before the stream was supposed to start. And I'm like, okay, I could just, oh. Um, I can just peel an orange. I have an orange before the stream. And then I'm like tired, so I took like 15 minutes to peel this. But yeah, I'm excited. I haven't done a game jam in like two years. I think the last one I did was spring 2020, so it's almost two years. Um, even that one was just like a game jam, a uh, game maker project. Uh, I kind of just half-assed. Um, this time I want to see, I want to do it in Unity, because I haven't done a game jam in Unity since my first one, and that first one was a mistake, because I didn't know Unity at all, but now I know it's slightly better. So I'm going to fuck around with it. Thing is, I don't know what the hell I'm going to do. <laughs> no? One thing, sorry, I'm eating my orange right now. One thing I was thinking of was... Trying to figure out a way to use as many fucking like primitives as possible. Um, excuse me. Use as many primitives as possible in my thing, just so I don't have to spend a lot of time modeling. Since I'm okay at it, I'm just not good. I'm like I'm okay. I'm bad at it, <laughs> but but yeah. Um. This orange is good. Orange is top tier fruit. They're on sale at my grocery store right now for like two for a dollar. And it's like, fuck. Oh, I'm so distracted. <laughs> mm. Oh, yeah, I should mention. I'm gonna put Throtus in the chat just in case anybody actually shows up. Let's see if this works. Yes, Nightbot works. Thank you, Nightbot. Um, we're going to be watching the kickoff together. I'm not going to stream it. Just go watch it on Lua's channel. I'll probably turn the music down. You can hear the music, right? Okay, you can hear the music. Good. Hopefully it's fine. But yeah, go watch the kickoff on Lua's channel. I'll watch it with you. Um, yeah. Honestly, right now I'm sitting here like, dang, I can do something with orange. Because <laughs> oranges are primitive. Honestly, though, okay. I, I know I'm going a little early. What primitives do we have? We have 3D object, Q, sphere, castle, cylinder, plane. Hmm. Why is it green? Oh, well, that's not green. We have a regular plane. We have a cylinder. Let's scale that up. Not the one. I think it's the point one. Point one. And a bit. Honestly, we color this green. And then we do a little sphere thing here. Uh, we just do scale interpreter. Make the whole thing go down. Damn. So we just do point two, point two, point two. And then, bam. Color that green color, it's a, it's a fruit color. Damn, we have fruit, we can grow a fruit. Not gonna be an idea. And you know, I might do some light modeling if I need to, but. Real talk, for a game jam game like this, I just really need to change the skybox and this could look fine. Oh. I know I'm doing it early though, this doesn't count. No, this counts. No, this counts. It doesn't count. Mm. 
Also, you might notice that I have this like this. And that's because for some reason I'm allergic to alt tab. I don't know what the deal is. <laughs> and I've already loaded up Unity and Visual Studio just because I have running on a fucking nine year old's ancient hard drive. <laughs> And oh, I'm so tired. I'm so sorry. Um, I'm running on an ancient, like, nine year old hard drive, which means that when I open Unity, it takes it could take like almost 10 minutes to open a new project. So, I wanted to make sure I can just open it easy. Man, I am like so excited I'm so nervous I haven't done a game jam in a while I'm like what can I actually get done in 48 hours let's be real like if I'm being healthy 9 hours tops per day that's 18 hours you know what I mean I'm just sitting here, it's like, oh, the countdown on the kickoff is going. Where the hell is the wave of Moshi on YouTube? Does YouTube even have one? Oh, there it is. Ah. Uh. Because I clicked the emoji button and it's like, oh, I have better BTV. I should not have that on YouTube. It is weird. I just got that and I'm like, meh. Um, I don't know what that means. Ah. I'm waiting for it probably. Ooh, I have no ideas. <laughs> I'm going to be really excited once I get the theme. But. For now, I'm just sitting here like, mm, orange, good. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna turn my fan. It's a little, it's a little warm. Man. Beep, 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 beep. Okay, good. The shuffle is working. When I was starting stream on with my little shuffle playlist, I wasn't paying attention until now, but like, it started with the one song I wanted to start with. I just double clicked on it. It's a good song. And then it immediately goes to the next song on the play playlist. And I'm like, I suppose there is a one in however many fucking songs on here chance that that would happen. However, I am slightly worried, but okay, we're good. We're shuffling. It's fine. And we're just gonna, let's load this up so that I can get the little chat on the side. There we go. And once we get the, uh, once the pop-off starts, the kickoff starts, I'll turn the music down. Go 
watch that. Oh! Is it starting? It just changed from waiting to watching now? Hey! It's starting! Video games, huh? Here, I'll turn the music. I'll turn up. I'll, I'll get rid of the music for now. Go watch the kickoff if you're not already. If anyone is even here. <laughs> okay, no. Shouldn't, shouldn't. Shouldn't bring that up. Don't bring that up. It's fine. Hmm. Such a cute little loading screen. I need to get a job so I can commission someone to actually make me one. <laughs> No, I, th I think she did her own though, because she's cool. Man, it's been a while since I watched a little stream. I don't know what it is. I think it's just because I haven't been on YouTube lately. And I just tiredly click on Twitch. Should make an effort to watch more. Let me, uh, go on my thing. I am fucking excited to get this theme. I guess once I get the theme, I can start like actually brainstorming ideas. have any more orange and that makes me sad I could go peel another one but apparently in this state that I'm currently in it will take me 15 minutes <laughs> it's it's really good We can wait. I also put my loading screen on for way too long. <laughs> it's okay. It's totally cool. Bam, me, 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 me. So I started playing Slice and Dice on my phone, and by started playing, that means I'm probably going to show it on my phone right now while we wait. Um. Actually, let me turn the colors back on. That's actually, actually, fuck that. That's a more interesting thing. So I turned the colors off on my phone because uh, that actually helps me in terms of just getting off my phone. <laughs> and I can turn them back on very easily. It's not that big deal. Ah, there's the music. Hey. Um, oh, it's starting. But yeah, turn to me. If you have a phone addiction, turn the fucking color off. Your brain doesn't want to look at something with no color. It also makes the trans flag extremely funny because I think the contrast is the same for the pink and the blue, light blue. So it just turns the trans flag into like gray with a white line. <laughs> Good morning. All right, go watch the thing. Go watch the thing. It has officially started. Go watch it. Go watch it.
<laughs> yeah, let's see, let's look who's, I'm smiling right now. I'm in a great mood. No, I actually am in a good mood. I'm a little, a little, a little sleepy, but it's okay. Fuck it, last, oh my god, last night I was talking to Mercy, and, because we were playing some Melty Blood after my stream, and she fucking, like, I brought up, like, Saber's alt outfit, in that she has with, uh, she has a alt outfit intro with Aoka, and I brought it up, I'm like, this is a cute outfit, and Mercy goes, just a little warning, you said you wanted to go to bed early tonight, and now you're talking about Fate Stay Night, and I'm like, god damn it. <laughs> Big fucking mood, Luna. <laughs> the music goes quiet immediately as she said that. All right, incredible. Oh yeah, there's that hashtag I could have used. Oh. Well. Yeah, let me let me throw that open on on the tweeter. <gasps> Excuse me. Paste. Hashtag. Yeah. <laughs> hey, look at that. She pinged everyone. Cheers. Yeah, if you're if you're if you're doing it. I'm not finding some teammates because I am tired and I don't feel like I don't know if anyone I know wants to work with me. Oh yeah, don't do that. Don't stay up all night. I am going to work for probably a maximum of like 9 or 10 hours a day. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I should keep my chat in my corner of my eye, but I am. In... Hmm. I actually, literally, after stream today, I'm gonna make a pizza. <laughs> I'm gonna try and finish by tomorrow. If I'm not done by Monday, uh, uh, if I'm not done by tomorrow, I'll just submit what I have. Um, and I'll probably do the same thing tomorrow. Not morning stream, but in the afternoon stream, just do a 10 o'clock. I don't have that many skills. That's what I, that's what I do. I learned something new. I don't know if we're synced up, if any of happy viewers. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna. Honestly, my point is to get back into game dev a little bit because I burned out a little hard. It's crazy because I burn out, but every time I'm like, I'm like, I, I take like a, a few weeks off, and I'm like, oh, I want to make a video again. I want to get back into it. Oh 
Oh yeah, hey, look at that. I just got the email from Diachayo. I would like to make it stuff. Music seems pretty fine. Let's see. Although I guess I didn't wake up at fucking six in the morning like she did. No restrictions on Python. <laughs> Is that what she did last time? I was I remember thinking about joining it last time and then like being busy. It's not my first game jam, but it is my first game jam in a while. Yeah, Lua fucking stitches together everything. <laughs> Man. I'm really curious what this game is going to be. Because what is is it is it Oh yeah, I did a game gym where I made a fucking Godot game. <laughs> that being going to be garbage, cause boy, could I make a game that pisses me off. <laughs> I would say Godot, but I don't actually know how the documentation is these days. Godot. Godot Nito. Game Maker, you can't export. Can't export without the paid. Actually, it's fine. It's fine. I'm okay, making it in cube basic. Jesus Christ. Luna's on another level. God damn. I'm watching a chat too, if you couldn't tell. And this is part of the reason I'm doing my. Oh. Oh, if you're working with team, yeah, yeah, figure out the file stuff. That's important. Perfles. I'm actually no perfles. Oh, version control. Mm -hmm. I've used GitHub, but I'm not. But yeah, no, part of the whole thing with Get Sleep, that is why I'm doing my 10 p.m. stream, 
to kind of just force myself to stop working and then go to bed. And then tomorrow I can wake up and keep working. Okay, I just opened Per Force, so I was curious. I just opened their website in a new tab, and they fucking started flashing me. You have one new message, so go away. <laughs> it's fine. Yes, get some sleep. Get some sleep. But yeah, I'm going to try and stop working by 10 p.m. tomorrow and just do another stream about it being done. The 10 p.m. stream tomorrow might just be me going, let me finish, let me finish, let me finish. But yes, this is my... Yes, that is what it means. I've done a 12 hour, I've done a 48 hour game jam where I've like slept. It was like on a college thing, so you just sleep in the rooms or whatever. You like, you just sleep on campus. That was fun. That was neat. But I had to bring my fucking CPAP machine in, and then next year I was like, fuck it, I don't feel like doing this. Are fake. I don't know why I'm streaming this. I probably should have planned this better and then just said I will stream after the kickoff. But it's fine. Make a game in PowerPoint. That would be fucking cool. Actually. There is actually a thing I want to do. Honestly, an art pack would be so nice, but I always forget to download them. Honestly, maybe I'll just do that instead of doing new proofs. I kind of forgot about this. Yeah, good UI definitely makes things harder. Theme announcement. I know this sound it sounds like way worse on the mic for some reason. Just upload it on it. Yeah, straight up. Just do whatever. Growing. That was this. That was hers. Okay, I was going to say growing. I remember there being a theme about growing. That's why I was thinking about the oranges shit. She needs to. I know this sound is like horrible on the mic, and I'm sorry. It sounds totally normal to me, but it like apparently there's a separate echo. OpenGameOrt.org is how I fucking passed college. And it has like a lot of shit. Like that's where I'm probably going to wind up getting my music from. Because there's like a tab I have with music. Just throw it in a readme at the beginning. It's fine. The 
theme is. The theme is. Mass. Oh. Hmm. Camouflage is helping me think already, although I would make me work with colors. Dealing with narrative. Yeah. <laughs> Because, okay, my first thought is, like, something behind, what would be easy to do, right? Something behind, like, doors or something, or something behind panels or something, you know, whatever. And I'm thinking about, like, Wordle, because I literally was just playing Wordle earlier. <sighs> so I wonder if you can do, like, a quick little puzzle-type game. Hmm... Hmm. Oh my god, I have no idea. This is a complicated thing. This is not what I was expecting. This is... Because this is something that, like, I'm going to have to figure out a way to do without art. <laughs> It's okay. It's totally okay. We can do this. Um. See, the thing is, like, somebody said, like, oh, I think of a social stealth game. And I'm like, oh, how the... Fun. How are you going to keep that minimum viable product down and that's kind of where i'm stuck right now it's like these i'm having some ideas that are kind of high concept like you see the wrestler honestly okay hold up oh fuck i, I wanted to wait until the again okay. it's store you need yes it's store i see the wrestler she has and honestly that might just be where we go wrestler okay so there aren't any good assets on the assets there for wrestler incredible mm. oh wait why did i close the tab Uh, mask. Let's do mask. Just search mask on the asset store. Because now what I'm thinking is you can just download a character sprite or a character model and just throw the mask model on top of it. And then you would. Maybe I'm overthinking this, honestly. <laughs> the hook, yeah. Hmm. I have no good ideas. <laughs> Because what I would think is like, oh wait, let me sort by free. I forgot to do this. Uh, pricing, free assets. Mm, free assets are not really anything good. Yeah. So when you're wearing a mask, hmm.
Who fucking knows? <laughs> no, no, no. We're not giving up this easy. Um. All right. I'm going to go back to the idea of some form of either camouflage or just having doors up. So let me kind of just put on the screen what I mean. Oh, I had the whole. Oops. Here. Let's do a little. Um, do a little plane. We'll do a little. We'll do the cubes. Throw a few of these cubes on here. Um, position minus. Wait. Oh wait, no. Y is fucking okay. So that's point five, right? What? What is the size of the primitive cube? All right, we're using Blender Primitive. I don't care. Oh, is it because it's... No, why is it hovering? Wait, oh, it's because the plane is... The plane is in center. Okay, 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 okay. I was about to freak out. Um, let's get this right. So we'll just... We'll just Copy paste a few of these. It's control D. Yeah. We don't need that many. So it's fine. So we just go one here, one here, one there. Doesn't have to be perfect right now. Maze game. All right. Mm. Does this make sense, kind of? So you would put something behind each one of these doors. Or it doesn't have to be five, it was whatever. Um, you put something behind each one of those doors and then you have to progress through the levels by, you have to solve a puzzle to get through a maze kind of thing. Now, how do we do puzzles? We could do a unique puzzle. Like, let's keep the scope small. Let's do three unique puzzles instead of just doing one. Three unique puzzles, we can do this. We can do this pretty easily. We could just use the interact thing, the interactables thing, and then just have everything show off. One thing that could be cool is uh, you put this, let's just put this as a, oh, whoops. Uh, like that, and then you do a create empty, and then you do a reset transform. Just put that all on here. And then when you enter a room, it just spins really fast around you, right? And then that way, um, okay, there could be one, two, three, four, there could be four, um, doors on each wall yeah <gasps> okay oops we can do two, two, two. one two three four and then we can just kill you for now and then when you enter a room, it spins around so that way you can get lost kind of easily. If you enter the wrong door, then you just get to put it into an empty room. Um, yeah, if you get put, if you enter the wrong door, you get put into an empty room. So that way you have to like. When you, you enter the empty room, you go out that way, and then you just... The empty room has no extra doors, it just has the thing. So you go back into the main room, and then it spins around, and then you have... And then you have no way of telling which door is the door that you went through previously. Or, it doesn't have to spin around. But point is, like, let's say you go in this door and this is the wrong door, and then you walk back in here. These 
maybe instead of that, just these doors spin around. And then you don't know which one is the one you walk through. So you have to like actually do the puzzle instead of brute forcing it. Okay, so we got that kind of idea down. So what is the puzzle? Hmm. What is the puzzles? We need three puzzles. We need three ideas for three puzzles. Um, ideally, something to do with masking, something to do with hiding something, right? I am sitting with horrible posture right now. <laughs> All right, with the idea of masking, with the idea of hiding something, what are our three puzzles? One is definitely gonna use shadows. The door you need to go through is covered in shadows. One is going to be okay. Let's actually do that. Let's actually just make them all like shadow puzzles, <laughs> not like the uh, Resident Evil Seven one that there's an excellent YouTube video of. Just to have the shadows covering things up. Right? Maybe we could just do it, like, honestly, instead of this whole fake eight rooms thing, we could just do one, two, three. Because I, I did mess to kind of, like, it's the, mass the right way forward, but we could just do one, two, three rooms like that, something like that. So we would have to learn a little bit about Unity's lighting stuff to do shadows, shadow puzzles. So one could be like a block pushing puzzle, like um, you. There are blocks in the room, right, and then you push them to. Uh, put a shadow on something or once they're in the right place the shadow actually no I actually am sticking with the idea of there being four little doors and you have to pick the right one because we could put symbols on the doors and then have it set up so that putting the boxes in the right order kind of reveals a symbol Though, so I guess. Here's how we can do it. We could do it just going in through the wrong door, puts you at the beginning. Kind of like a Lost Forest kind of deal. Although, I mean, you would just run back. It would just be slightly annoying. You could just brute force it that way. Also, doing a shadow, making the shadows form something isn't the same thing as a mask. Although I could just say the light is masking the solution. Could be fun. Um, I also have to think of like unique shadow shapes, which I am not, this is not my forte. Let's see. <sighs> It could just be that the shadow is covering up something like actually the first room yeah we can do something like that so there, there's like say you have like a little arc here or something that just completely blocks out a light source and you have to do a kind of white puzzle to shine a light on the on the thing that the on the thing that is covered in darkness that you can't see, and then the the shadow is still masking the solution. That could be fun, and then I, I'd still have to learn about lighting. Like I'd love to learn how to do the. Uh, oh, I forgot to turn the music back on. I'm sorry, everyone. <laughs> Sorry, I was getting so into it. Here, I'll just get to the next one. 
What do we got? What's up next? If it's something good, I'll sk uh, It's good. It's a good song, but let me just... Let me throw on One Horse. Love One Horse. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot to turn the music back on. Um, we could do that. I just have like a light puzzle kind of deal. Or instead of doors, there could just be like buttons that you push and you have to push them in the right sequence. Mm. Like I'm thinking like six colored buttons in the wall and you have to push in three of them. That's like vulnerable to brute forcing. Oh, I mean, I guess we could just change the colors you need to do each time you attempt it. Yeah, we could just do that. That's probably pretty easy. Um, and we don't even have to do three rooms because we could just do one, one room with like a light puzzle. And then, oh god, I've turned the music too loud on my end. I'm turning it down on my end, but you guys should still be fine. Should be the same. Okay. Uh, okay. So we can do that. And yeah, I think a light puzzle would be kind of the ideal way to do it. And how would you do this? I think we would have to learn I mean, I wonder if we could just do a, like a, a straight up like light source that, hang on. I wonder how they'll turn that off for a second. Uh, light, point light. No, that's not what I want, but we can change it directional. Um, what the hell? Where is it down there? Oh, interesting. Okay, the directional light just... Okay, it, it, it doesn't matter where it's located. That's not what I want. This is, this is probably what I want. Uh, let's change this to rotation. Yeah, this is what I want. I wonder if you can just do a very concentrated angle. You can... Okay, we're doing this. This is the plan. We're doing a little we're doing a little shadow puzzle. And there'll be switches in the wall and there's two two places covered in darkness and you need to illuminate those places covered in darkness to see which switches you push and every time you hit two switches they randomize. The room resets and they randomize. And if you succeed, then it opens the door. Otherwise, the room resets. So let's write this all down. Okay. Theme. Mask. Concept. Light puzzle. If there is marking hidden by shadow. Use uh, oh and I keep I keep saying light puzzle. I don't know if I actually said it. It's gonna probably gonna be a block bucket pushing puzzle that's kind of similar to a Zelda type deal where um, there are mirrors and then on the on the blocks. Honestly, and this kind of keeps me lets me use my like primitives idea. Yeah. I also have like a fucking skybox somewhere that I could just import in 10 seconds. There is marking hidden by shadow. There are markings. There should be two. Are actually two plus markings. The reason two plus, I think we could do multi. If I could get the first room done relatively quickly, we could just do two more rooms and that would be easy. And then we can de decorate. That, that, okay. Uh, ideal schedule. I'll fill this in a little more detail later. 
first room done Saturday. Um, second plus room done Sunday. Decorate Sunday. Okay. Yeah. And then we'll fill this in with more detail. I'll fill this in with more detail, maybe. There are two power plus more shadow. And we can just do a little. There we go. Um, push box boxes with angled mirrors. The only thing is. I might have to cheat the mirrors a little bit. We'll see. And just kind of do, I honestly, I'm probably actually, when I say might, I mean definitely going to have to cheat the mirrors. Uh, angled mirrors, and uh, well, oh, let me kind of explain what I mean. See this point light right here? Obviously, I'm gonna click away from it. You can't see it. The only thing you can see of it is on this block right here. So what I'll have to do is I'll have to use probably a trail render or a path render. I can use the path render. I could use, want to learn from path render and maybe make a point. Or I can be less stupid. Okay, we're gonna cheat like fucking crazy. Are you ready? <laughs> These, uh, the uh, angled mirrors will be full triangles. And what we'll do is we'll just make a cylinder that starts from here, starts from the point light, the spotlight. What the hell is it called? It's the spotlight? Right. We'll make a, a cylinder that starts from the spotlight and like pretends to be illumination, right? Then, we this will be a like that that'll be visible and the cylinder will start here and it'll go all the way here and then we'll make it a triangle specifically so that it, it clips inside the triangle and you just see it and we'll be probably be doing an isometric view from uh, top down uh, no come on top down there we go so that way you'll just uh it, when it clips in and you won't just see it it'll be obvious but i, I guess that doesn't matter as much as that much it doesn't matter uh, it's definitely going to be top down because top down block pushing is easy. Um, so push box thing with mirrors and eliminate. Yeah, and then and then each time it starts, there's a new box. Like like each time the light hits a box, it spawns a new cylinder that goes out that way, and then a new cylinder that goes out that way. That should be easy. Um, illuminate mark markings with light. Um, corresponds to six markings on wall slash six buttons i might literally just do like six colored buttons just be easy uh let's uh invent that and then say hit the markings to either first to hit the Correct markings to proceed. Hit incorrect markings to reset room and randomize marking color. And then that way, yeah. Push boxes with angled mirrors. That should be that should be the easiest part. Just getting a basic character controller and then getting that in. I'll have to import Rewired just so I can practice using Rewired. Uh, but yeah, the the box pushing part's easy. I'm good at video games, and I'll probably just make on discrete grid. 
That way, when you push the box, it will land on a discrete grid space. Make our YZ a little easier. Next, we eliminate the markets of light. I use cylinders for illumination plus I know that you can make a material that emits light. Actually, we should probably switch to universal mm -hmm. render pipeline. I don't remember how to do that off the top of my head. I it's okay. I uh Uh, assets, graphics tier. I don't remember how to do this. Project settings. Also, I should put the project settings where they usually are. Um, white, oh, concept white puzzle, shadows. Mask solution. And we can get rid of the fake door idea, we just need the markings. That's fine. You know, we got we got somewhere with that fake door idea, so I'm happy I had it. Um I don't remember how to do this. Well well I'll I'll figure this out later. It's not a big deal. And we can We'll have to figure out still in a trail is it figure out how to hide in shadow. Worst case scenario I figure out some shader bullshit. <laughs> I wonder if you can do binary operations with like. Hmm. Or I can cheese it. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Yeah, and I'll have to actually figure out some puzzles. So that should be another thing I should. Um, Figure out some puzzle layouts. There we go. That sounds good. And yeah, I'll just find a 3D. Okay. Assets. I should add these. Assets. I need character. Pref with mask. Download because I'm not I'm not making a character model. I'm too slow at that. I need to learn how to make them a little bit better, but yeah. Pref character preferably please mask. I need angle mirror white source. Um oh you know what? Eliminate markings with light. If have time, record which markings have been eliminated. If we don't have time, that's whatever. Um, download. I can make a angled mirror thing. White source. I could just like you could just I could just use the fucking boxes from Dragon Near <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about. Uh and then Oh, the markings? Well probably Probably just use primitives. Use colored 
room if it's I don't really have a better idea for that. If I was if I was working with an artist I might be able to like get them to do something, but yeah. Uh grid floor yeah, we don't really need that. But distinct pushables versus non pushable triangle versus squares so i'm thinking the triangle well, i'll just have like fucking pushable triangles it's fine and then one thing i'm thinking about doing is i don't think i can make a triangle primitive i'm sure i could oh, hang on let's not give up wow that's bright when you have the light on huh Let's just, I'll, I'll make one in Blender for 10 seconds, but just to show what I'm, actually. Um, it's just going to be a right triangle. Fuck it. You know what a, you know what a right triangle looks like. It's a right isosceles triangle. And then I can, maybe to cheat the cylinder thing, this isn't the most efficient solution, but whatever. You just send a ray cast out to the angled mirror. Yeah, that should be easy. I'm now, sorry, now I'm thinking like, you know what might even be easier? Is if, um, no, no, I was thinking like maybe we could do a kind of two right uh, isosceles triangles, except one is just like two walls that are supposed to be like glass. But I'd have to fuck with the materials in a way that might be slightly annoying, so don't need it. Although, we can see. We'll, we'll see. We, we'll put that in the decorate part and just make it a little nicer. It would be, uh, well, here's the deal. It would be easier for me to do the cylinders because I wouldn't have to push the cylinders all the way to the back of the uh, right triangle. Because the uh, isosceles parts, the two sides that are the same, should be the same. But I don't know. Um, but yeah, that should be that should be good. So we have our idea. I'll have to figure out some puzzle layouts. Um, the I, 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 yeah, and with regards to the squares, the squares will just be non-pushable. So, yeah. And hitting the wrong markings will reset the room. You can probably, hitting the button, okay. You know what it should be? Six buttons plus submit button. And then the, like the first six buttons would be one, two, three, one, two, three. And then the submit button would be like on the side here, right? And then you just hit submit to reset in case you think you've like kind of gotten yourself stuck. Although I'll, I'll try and make it so that you should not be able to get stuck. It's not going to be like, it's going to be like push one block at a time. It's not going to be like an ice puzzle kind of thing. Although if I wanted to make it fucked up, I could just make an ice puzzle where you slip and slide all around. But I'm not going to do that. Yeah, and the character model won't be too important. We'll just use a cylinder for now. So I'm trying to think. What else do I need? What else do I need? I think that's it. We'll just have to figure out a bunch of stuff. Okay. Okay. Um, do I have literally anyone watching me? Probably not. <laughs> uh, one beer? Yeah, it's fine. It's okay. So yeah, that's my idea. I'm gonna do shadow puzzles. It sounds like fun. Uh, this song, Bones. Is it this the song I use for my outro? 
Hell yeah. You want to just listen to the song some more? I think I'm just gonna. I can just raid someone. With... I can just raid someone with one person. Hang on. Let's uh search through the tag on. Oh, the song. The song's pretty good too. Where the hell is the the tag on Twitter? And then we'll just see who's streaming. Um, hit refresh. Uh, and then. Is anyone streaming this? Uh, I guess people are streaming it who forgot to put the tag in. Like I did. I forgot to put the tag in. Oops. I know Lou is streaming it. Luna is streaming it. I think I threw her tweet up to me. Oh my god, I had so many tabs open. Alright. It's okay. It's okay. We can make this work. Is Luna streaming right now or. Oh, she's not streaming right now. Shit. Okay, well. Oh, she has been streaming? Oh, test streams. Okay, fair enough. Shit, I missed it. Oh, well. But I... I, I... Tell you what, let's just look through the software game development tab, see if anyone's doing it, and if nobody is, then we'll just... Or see if anyone I know is doing it. So I know I definitely recognize some people in the, in the Discord. Uh, nobody has put the game jam in their title, so I guess not. Okay, uh, then we'll just go to the end screen. All right. And to the person who's here, I hope you are having a lovely time. I will. Uh, the one person, sorry, I got distracted. The one person who is here, hope you're having a lovely time. Hope you had a lovely time. I'm going to make a video game now. Actually, that's not true. I'm going to go take a shower, think of more ideas in this shower, eat lunch, and then make a video game. But yeah, I hope you have a good evening. Peace out.